Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. Please listen closely, like, share, and subscribe. If there is any awkward subject in your mind, if if there if there is ever any awkward subject that that whenever people bring it up, you just feel really awkward or or it's very uncomfortable for you or it's just or 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 it just bothers you to hear about it or to think about it listen to me if that subject is in your own life and you are ever up between 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. or or between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. If you are ever up between those times, bet between sunrise and, I mean, I meant between sunset and, and sunrise, and anything comes up in, in your thoughts or in your mind for any reason that is extremely uncomfortable and that bothers and or worries you, and, 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 and you're awake after everyone else with you. Who lives with you or that you're with has gone to bed read these passages and then pray about it 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 either late at night or in the middle of the night or or before sunrise the next morning Isaiah chapters 9 41 53 and 54 Matthew 5 Matthew chapters 5 through 7 Mark 11, 2 Timothy chapter 1, 1 John chapters 1 and 4, Romans 8, and also go, go back and read Psalm 138, because, because YouTube viewers I am telling you, between between sun sunset and sunrise, that it, that that is the best time to pray, to pray ab ab about any secret problem or fear on your mind. No matter if it's from a problem, if it's a problem from the past that you think about, or a or a problem that's happening in in your life right now or 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 if you're if you're thinking of of something that could cause a a a a problem to come up in the future no matter if it's if it's distant or or near future or if you're sick or hurting or in pain or 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 depressed or grief stricken and fear stricken between between sunset and sunrise i am telling you that is the best time to 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 pray about any any type of situation in your life that way during that time your your family won't be interrupting you you won't be getting any robo calls that way during that time you can pray about any anything you want to no matter if it's for you or someone else. During that time you can pray for or about anything or any or any one that you want to. And 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 YouTube viewers, I know I have done videos on this subject recently. But I just, 
I just cannot, no one can even stress enough how much help praying during that time can give your life. No one can stress enough how much that, how much, how much doing that could help anyone's life. If you, if you get in to an argument with a friend, stay up late, pray, pray ab about it that night. After everyone else has gone to bed, no matter what you have to do, that no matter what you have to do the next morning, s stay up at least a, a half an hour, and 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 pray about any arguments or disagreements you have with a friend. Because Matthew five. Verse 7 says, Before you pray about anything, first forgive if you have ought against any, then come, then come in and pray. And, and, and Mark 11 also says too, If ye have faith and do not doubt in your hearts, you can say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and your command would be obeyed. But but when you are praying, first forgive if you have ought against any. YouTube viewers, Psalm, Psalm 139 says, One of the things we should, we should pray on a daily basis is, for the Lord to search and know us, and 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 if there be anything in our lives that that is that is keeping us away from the Lord, we should ask Him to remove it. The Bible says we should ask Him to remove it. And 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 YouTube viewers, John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the wo world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in Him should not perish, but have eternal life." For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn it but to save it there is no judgment awaiting those who trust him but but those who do not trust him have already been judged for not believing in him it is it is it is God's will that none should perish but that all should come to eternal life so 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 listen to me if you if you are ever up between sunset and and sunrise especially between 1 and 3 a.m. or between 3 and 6 a.m. Especially if you're up during those times on a, on a regular basis or you want to be or or plan to be for any reason. When, when you are awake at all times, we need to ask the, the Lord for a desire to pray for the lost. We need to ask the the Lord for a, a desire to pray for people to get saved Be, because when it's not time when, when it's not time here in Amer in America it's 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 daytime somewhere else when it's daytime here it's not time there so so. YouTube viewers, whenever whenever we are whenever we are awake, no matter what time it is, we need to ask the Lord to search and know us and remove anything that would keep us from being close to Him, and to forgive us of all of our sins, 
and and we need to pray for we need we need to pray for some Christian somewhere else as well as ourselves to be bold enough and and have enough desire to and enough confidence to especially if they're in a hostile foreign power that that fights against Christian beliefs we need to pray for them for those people for, for those Christians who are in nations that fight against Christianity to have enough desire and boldness and peace to to witness to the lost in those in those places because because as I said John 3 16 says it is God's will that none should that none should perish and have eternal life I I hope this video has helped you if it did please let me know in the comments below thank you but but one more thing like I said Psalm 139 says we need we need to ask the the Lord to search us and know us and if there be anything in our lives that would keep him from from having a a close walk with us ask him to remove it thank you again please like share and subscribe